Hey guys, I'm Allie. Today we're going to review and learn more about how to add and subtract rational numbers. Uh, Allie, what's a rational number? Rational numbers include whole numbers like 0 or 7, fractions like 2 and 2 thirds, or decimals like 1 and 7 tenths. There's other numbers that are rational numbers that you'll learn about in 6th grade. Oh, okay. All right, so let's look at a couple of examples. If I want to add these two numbers, I either need to write my 3 tenths as a decimal or my 0.4 as a fraction. So 3 tenths as a decimal would be 5.3. And remember, when you add or subtract decimals, you have to line them up. You can work this either way. When you're adding or subtracting fractions, you have to have a common denominator. I know that 1 half is the same as 4 out of 8, so I can rewrite this problem with a common denominator of 8. I write down that common denominator, add the numerators, and add the whole numbers. Uh, Allie, 11 over 8 looks funny. You're right, AP, because that's more than one whole, so we need to regroup. 11 over 8 is the same thing as 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. The 8 eighths is one whole that merges in with the 7. So my final answer is 8 and 3 eighths. Okay, I'll do a problem. Hey guys, I love galactic gummy worms. In fact, I'm eating one right now. So I look for some change on the ground. I found 5 quarters, and I know that 5 quarters make $1.25. 4 dimes, which is 40 cents. Six nickels, which is 30 cents, and five pennies, which is five cents. Woo! Let me see how much money I have. I have two dollars. I bought a galactic gummy worm for 70 cents. I want to know how much money I have left. Well, I need to subtract, and I have to be very careful and borrow. I have a dollar 30 left. I can buy another gummy worm. Hey dudes, I'm the Education Galaxy Star Racer. Last week I finished a rocket race at Galactic Raceway in my Purple Rocket A in 42.3 seconds. This week I finished the same race on the same race course in my Gray Rocket B eight and a half seconds faster. Let's figure out how long it took me to finish the race this week. Since I went faster, I need to subtract the eight and a half seconds. So it's going to be 42.3 minus the 8.5. Well, I need to get these the same. I think I'm going to write the half as 5 tenths, which as a decimal is 0.5. So I'm going to have 42.3 minus 8.5. Be careful with your borrowing and do the subtraction. Remember to bring that decimal straight down. This week, I finished the race in 33 and 8 tenths seconds. I, the galactic spy, saw alien puppy bury a space bone 15 and 7 eighths feet north of his doghouse. I also saw him bury a space dog biscuit 4 and 1 feet fourth south of his doghouse. What is the distance between the space bone and the space dog biscuit? To figure this out, we must add the distances. I need to rewrite the 1 fourth as 8, and I know that 1 fourth is the same as 2 eighths. Now I write down my common denominator and add my numerators and my whole numbers. Hey, spy dude, you got to regroup. 9 eighths is the same as 8 eighths plus 1 eighth. It's more than 1. So the 8 eighths adds 1 to the whole number, so I buried them 20 and 1 eighth feet apart. Okay, kids, it's your turn to answer some questions.